Hey Aquarius, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a general you versus them reading. So we're going to look at the energy between you and the person that you are connecting to. Could be someone that you are currently in a relationship with, someone that you're talking to with the hopes of being in a relationship, or maybe someone that you're currently not speaking to, not communicating with, and you're wondering what's going on. So um, this is a general reading, so not everything will make sense. Take what does and leave the rest. And it is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. So we're going to start with your energy. All right, we have the Knight of Cups. I kind of feel like you are, I feel like you're hoping for someone to make up their mind because it kind of feels like right now you could be dealing with a person um, who is kind of making you feel like you have to be at their disposal. It, it just kind of feels a little unfair. We have the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Swords, the Temperance, and the Queen of Pentacles. Honestly, Aquarius, it kind of feels like you are ready for this person um, to make up their mind. It's kind of like you're saying, if you just tell me, I'm going to make it happen. You know, if you just let me know, then I'm going to I'm going to do whatever it is that I need to do. I'm not against taking initiative or I'm not against, you know, taking some sort of action if it means that me and you are you know gonna have the possibility of being together but it feels like this person is kind of keeping you in the dark or making you feel like there is no way to go or no choices like you're right now kind of just stuck here because they're not giving you anything i feel like with the temperance you're waiting you're being patient but at the same time you're also starting to recognize that they may not have the right intentions or the same intentions as you within this relationship and i kind of feel like with the queen of pentacles you've worked so hard to get to where you are um in general you know like your your work your professionalism your stability your finances your growth right your your own personal development your journey all of that has just you have put so much value right you have put so much effort and whoever you're connecting to i feel like they don't see that or they don't appreciate it and so you're starting to recognize this this is not what i signed up for right so that same initiative that same effort that you were willing to give to this i feel like you're starting to realize maybe i need to turn that inward um so it's kind of like this knight of cups he's kind of slowing down you know he's still willing he's still there but he's starting to kind of like wait hold on let me let me reevaluate what i really want to do here right behind that is the nine of cups and the five of wands so this nine of cups is starting to become more about you this is you kind of saying maybe i need to just give this to me five of wands you're not really liking what you're seeing there's a mis misalignment right with the energies two of cups there's potential but it's it's not quite adding up here so let's see what we get for the person that you are connecting to five of swords yeah i kind of feel like they may they may want something else but they're not saying it almost like there's a little bit of an immature energy we have the hierophant which is taurus the hanged man which is pisces three of cups and the page of swords so i feel like this hanged man represents that this person may not really know exactly what they want so they could be trying to you know maybe even meet or spend time with other people maybe there's a third party uh, maybe you're connecting to a taurus but i kind of feel like with that hierophant this person's perception um, a relationship may be on a different path. You know, I feel like with the Page of Swords, they're still figuring things out. That's that's really what I see here. Um, kind of like someone is still trying to understand. Even with the Hierophant, I feel like both of you could have very different opinions about marriage. For some reason, that's coming through. Um, kind of like maybe you see yourself getting married, having children, or, you know, settling down somehow. Um, maybe you already have children, but it, it's just kind of like your view of that looks very different than theirs. And that could be something that recently has kind of created a little bit of a distance or um, a disinterest. And again, with this three of cups, there's, there's something there that kind of speaks to someone else or them looking for other ways to connect. Um, I don't know. I kind of feel like we have to start there. So we're going to go ahead and clarify the three of cups on their side. tower yeah maybe there was something that happened recently where they chose to go somewhere and do something maybe you were not you didn't agree with it kind of feels like maybe recently they did something and you were very honest and you were transparent and you said hey i don't really i don't really feel comfortable with you doing that but it kind of feels like they did it anyway and now you could be recognizing okay this is the kind of person they are 
that when we get into an argument, they do this and, and that's how they are. They don't they don't really see anything but their own desires or needs. I kind of feel like with the King of Wands is a little bit of a kind of selfish energy. You know, he, he does tend to get what he wants and he is very demanding and he likes to take control. There's a lot of passion there as well. So maybe you're connecting to somebody that just has a hard time kind of like, you know, um, taking other people's feelings into consideration it just kind of feels like there's a lack of of respect here with that seven of pentacles he's kind of looking down and saying wow i've worked so hard on this excuse me i've i've been so honest i've been so vulnerable and this is what i get kind of like you could just be really seeing this person's true colors and it it happened recently so you're still you know like you're still figuring it out you i mean you yourself you're saying i'm willing to give this a try but at the same time can i really ignore what i feel all right, let's go ahead and let's clarify the let's clarify the Knight of Wands on your side. Hanged man, or no, not hanged man. Sorry, High Priestess, which is Pisces. Um, I feel like your intuition. I feel like your intuition is what drives you right now. Like your gut feeling could be very different than what is happening. And that is what maybe keeps you um, in this loop. We have the sun, which is Leo, the lovers, which is Gemini, and the page of cups. I feel like Aquarius, you really love this person. You really see the potential with them. And I feel like the connection itself is very strong when things are good. Right? It's like when things are good, when things are happy and they're healthy, I feel like your intuition tells you, like your gut feeling says this is the one. This is the person I can see myself with. What we have is so special, right? But then it's like behind all of that, there's all this other stuff going on. So it may even leave you feeling confusing, almost like you are torn between what your heart is telling you and what you are seeing from them. All right, let's clarify the, let's clarify the Hierophant on their side. Seven of Wands. Yeah, almost like there's a little bit of a defensiveness uh, when when certain topics come up. Like if you have a certain type of conversation, you can kind of see the shift and how they are with you. We have the Knight of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Empress. So with that Empress, I feel like that is that divine feminine maternal energy that sometimes comes out when a person, um, you know, is... I feel like you try to let them have their moment you don't take it personally but at the same time i feel like you hope that they see that about you right like there's this reciprocation that seems to be missing sometimes i feel like with the knight of cups you are trying to keep the peace here but i feel like with that four of pentacles um i feel like there is this like resistance you know like someone is just resisting what is what is happening or resisting the help or resisting the empathy or resisting the compassion like someone just is choosing not to accept something and that is creating a little bit of a difference here in how you are able to view the relationship like things could be so good if they would just you know really listen behind the seven of wands is the nine of wands and the strength which is leo so maybe you are connecting to one I kind of feel like with the nine of wands, both of you, it's, you know, it's interesting because there seems to be a lot of back and forth, kind of like this tension energy, this argumentative energy, but I don't feel like you're giving up on each other. There's still something there that says, I, I know I want this deep down inside, but maybe there is a, maybe there's an age difference for some of you. And so it, that is also starting to create a little bit of a, um, of a rift here let's clarify the page of swords on their side two of wands yeah someone is thinking about what they want their future to look like and they may be torn between two different realities we have the seven of swords king of pentacles three of pentacles and again the strength i kind of feel like with that seven of swords there could have been some sort of betrayal um that happened recently that's kind of making you realize that their intentions may be somewhere else maybe with that three of pentacles and king of pentacles they may be focusing more on their work uh, maybe there is a third party but i kind of feel like that two of wands as it, it pretty much says that the future for them is looking it's still in the in the works like they're still working on what that looks like i feel like you already know what you want so there may be like an imbalance here in what exactly it is that you know can happen 
but again i don't see anyone giving up so maybe it's just something that needs to be really spoken about something that needs to be addressed because i feel like there is potential to make things work but someone's pride could also be in the way so i'm also getting that like your person's pride could be the problem um i'm gonna leave it here if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one